Okay. Well, let's let's address your question, Tricia. Okay. So and um, so my question is um, basically I am working on a website and they've got they're going to have like six product pages. And the, but they have one primary product that is basically 90% of their sales. And that's what they want the focus. And they basically want, like, when you go to the homepage, they don't want, like, usually the way I would do that is like some information on the homepage and kind of like mine is where it has like, would have six like little call outs and have, you know, the different products and then say, you know, about them and then learn more about each one. And then of course it'd be in the menu. But on this one, we're um, going to be doing about the, their, their main product, have it kind of above those, like at the very, you know, front and center on the homepage. But I still want to have, um, I, I feel like because that's so important, you know, they do other things, but I want to also have it as a product page for SEO because the homepage is one thing, but usually the other pages are you would use it to do some other stuff. So I don't, I'm not sure. So can, is it okay to have it like there in the homepage and then I have the same text in another separate page? Is that making sense? Yeah. So you want to duplicate the same text on the homepage is on a separate page. Mm -hmm. You want to duplicate yes. the same content on yes. two Which would be pages. Content. So they're the same content on two pages <laughs> yeah. so, so what would google do if they saw two pages they would probably virtually the same card want the one that that doesn't perform as well how does google know or perform in terms of what for google i don't know people go into it directly. well okay, yeah so that's that's the important question right um so yeah, you're right. Google will ignore one of them, mm -hmm. right? Especially if it's the same content. Yeah. Now in Google, what Google thinks is successful or works isn't necessarily what our standard of work is, right? Mm -hmm. If this is selling a product and one of them converts a lot better than the other, and Google said, because Google frankly doesn't care if you convert, if your customers convert, they care about things like click-through rate mm -hmm. and they care about things, other things that they're using to judge which is the better page. That yeah. might not be what you see. So they could pick the wrong page. And so that's why we want to tell Google which page okay. to get to. So in this case, um, there, there's so much in this question, right? There's, there's clients are always right, but frequently wrong, right? That is just like the whole mantra that clients always write is baloney, it's wrong. We are experts. We know what's best for them. And if we just capitulate to them, then we are a commodity and they can pay us pennies on the dollar. Still, I charge a good amount and my clients still don't take my advice. Okay. I've said my case. <laughs> you got to pay me whether or not you take my advice. Mm -hmm. And I can document things like conversion rate. Right. And I can say people who land on this page, no one's landing on this page because it's the same content. Yeah. Or God forbid, they're landing on the wrong page and not converting. Because the thing with home pages is home pages are more of like, here's our company, get to know us. Yeah, addressing and, who these people are, establishing credibility, what this company is about. It's not always set up for buying out. Now it should have a call to action. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah, yes. But, and so, so landing pages, interior pages typically are less distracting. They have to cover less ground. It could be more direct. Someone lands on that interior page and says, great, this is what I want. Bye. Okay. But when the homepage is so many things distracting you because you could say who we are. How long, you know, who, what's our, what's our credibility factor? We do more than just this one thing. Those can be distracting. And so, so can, interior pages tend to convert better. And so I would want Google to serve that. Yeah. 
if I understand her question correctly, could she um like she could still put the product on the front page, but maybe not put all of the content about the product on that front page, maybe have a, a link clicking to the that's what I tried. Page. That's oh. what I had tried. And I was oh. they don't or, like that. Oh. Or you just write different content completely unique content on the internet yeah it's a little hard because it's not it's it's not i don't know i can i can try to rework it some yeah well um, I, I would put it through grammarly and do a plagiarism check just yeah. to see that you're you know try to make it as unique as possible yeah and um, the nice thing about an interior page is that you can blow it out with like hundreds of words of content if the home page it's a lot harder because typically your design constraints in your homepage are a lot harder to put a lot of words. Yeah, yeah. And, and so, so at the very least, do your client a solid and write each page uniquely. Okay, so, okay. okay. And then in the best circumstance, and, and this kind of changes, um, right, uh, I think right now the current fashion is Google's only giving one website per query. But sometimes Google will, will let you have two listings and for the same search result. And then under those rare circumstances, like Google will change the algorithm and be like, okay, now we'll, we'll get, be willing to give you two listings mm -hmm. because your website and two pages in your website is so relevant to this thing. That's the best case scenario where you get two listings for a search query. Yeah. Because you have two good relevant pages. But if you set up your e-commerce, then you can show them, hey, I did you a solid. I saw two pages. Look at how much better this is connected. Yeah. Um, and there, I would like to, then you could take data to redesign well. rather than. Do what now? Then, then you can have data to present yeah. to the client, right? That's, it's a tricky situation with uh, that. There's some other stuff going on. Uh,